Okay, so this is like a completely different kind of video um, from what I normally make. But if you're still subscribed to me by now, then you should probably be expecting that, so yeah. So development. This is something that's really been bothering me recently with a lot of different games and different programs that are being developed. And the developers are like really not doing what they should be doing. And I kind of just wanted to make a video on it, so this is what that video is about. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Unity. Um, Unity is a game engine for developing games, and it's it's like a pretty great engine overall, but I, I have some serious problems uh, with their business model and everything. So basically, the engine has like a set of features that are like locked behind a paywall, um, which, which in itself isn't inherently bad, um, but one of those features is a dark theme. Um, and if it was like 20 bucks, keep it for life, I, I'd, I'd be okay with that, but no, you have to pay $120 a year. It's, it's something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. It's something ridiculous. Um, and if you pay that $100, $20 a year, you can keep the dark theme and a couple other random features. And the community is like completely outraged at this. And like, if you go to like, like there's probably a picture of it somewhere. It's, maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over there. I don't know. Um, but the community has like the number one voted thing is to enable this dark theme for free. And Unity just completely ignores them. Um, so I've put together a little skit on how their meetings probably go. Uh, hello there guys, uh, welcome to another Unity meeting. Uh, today we're going to be discussing some new features for our game engine. Uh, so let me just pull up my slides right here. Just give, give, give me a second. Alright, so I, I've pulled up the feedback page right here, so let's take a look at the most requested features for our engine. Uh, so first, <coughs> oh wait, what, what? That's that's uh, uh, F sharp support. That is exactly what we need in our engine. What, what else we got here? We got a uh, uh, voxel terrain. Oh, that sounds awesome. Mo yeah, let, let, let's get on to adding those community requested features. And yeah, it'll be great. Oh, uh, hey boss, why, why aren't we adding the free dark theme again? Because if we had a free dark theme, people wouldn't even have to pay for it. It'll be free. Think about the money. Think about the money. Gosh. Okay, so another one thing I want to talk about is Beat Saber. Um, now, when Beat Saber first came out, it was like the biggest hit VR game, and it, 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 it still is. Um, um, but when it first came out, it was it was great and all, and the developers promised lots of new content, as, as all developers do, um, which is fine, assuming they keep that promise. Um, so three months passed, and pretty much nothing had happened. There was a couple bug fixes, that's that's fine and all. And the developer said that they were had some big stuff coming and whatnot, and they had promised a level editor, and we were expecting that any day now. Um, and during that time, the modding community had like completely taken off and like transformed the game, added custom songs, custom platforms, uh, all kinds of random mods, and it really helped the game like take off. So a few, a few more months pass, and eventually, we got Beat Saber for PSVR, which I, I, I assume was cool, I, I don't know, I don't have PSVR. Um, but that's pretty cool. Um, but still, the PC version did not have any any like actual content. Like The only thing they added, added was like one song and bug fixes, and that was all. So then, finally, the PC version got the content update that everyone was waiting for. So in this new update, they had added like a ton of new stuff. Um, and it kind of like completely changed like some of the core gameplay, like how the blocks hit and stuff, and like the hitting sounds. And the community, like the community, like outraged um, at some of the stuff that they had changed. Like but the hit sounds were like delayed by 0.1 seconds, and it was really bothering me and a, a lot of people. So then, after after they saw how much the community had outraged, uh, the next day they released an update that basically undid everything that they had did except the menus. Um, so yeah, that was that was that was great. Um, they promised a level editor, they promised multiplayer, we don't have either of those things. Are they coming? I don't know. I know that they were, they're, they were probably pretty busy with porting it to PSVR, but that's still no excuse to like just completely stop updating the most popular VR game in the world. Like, if you have the most popular VR game in the world, you do everything you can to make sure that game is the best it can be. Also, just to be clear here, I'm not I'm not trying to completely hate on Beat Saber. It's it's still one of my favorite VR games of all time. Minecraft. Okay, I I, I spent like five minutes trying this pickaxe, and I don't think it was worth it. 
Oh, okay. Get out of the shot. I get oh, almost there. There. Stay away. Okay. So Minecraft. Um. So I'm. I, I don't need to explain what Minecraft is. So there's like a ton of different problems with Minecraft that I I could talk about. That but that would probably be like a separate video. Um. So I'm just gonna talk about this one specific thing. So in Minecraft 1.8, there was a system uh, for combat where you would click to attack and the person that you clicked on would get damaged. And it wasn't like the perfect system, but like it worked. It was easy to understand. Everyone everyone was okay with it. And there was there was no reason to change it. It was it was working fine. So then in the next update, which was Minecraft 1.9, um, they completely threw that old combat system out the window and replaced it with a cooldown system. So you would hit something um, and then your weapon would go into cooldown and while your weapon was, was on cooldown it would do way less damage so you had to wait until the cooldown went away before you hit again. Um, and this system was kind of like confusing, like it wasn't awful um, but like the community like completely outraged, like the whole PvP community no one liked it um, and like a lot of popular servers let me put this back over here a lot of popular servers like made custom plugins that would like bring back the old combat system and it was just like a mess overall so I, I assume I'm putting a picture of it here um, on the Minecraft user voting system thingy um, you can see that like one of the most requested features is to just add a simple command that would switch the combat system back to the old system like it cannot be that hard like the code is already there you just need to toggle it on and off like I, I know it's more complicated than that but it, there's no excuse um, but they, they still haven't added it. It's been three, three years. I, I don't, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a long time. And of course they've said that, oh, oh, we're making a new combat system. We're trying to think it through and make it perfect. But we basically haven't seen or heard anything uh, much from that. So the PVP community has basically lost hope in ever seeing a proper combat system made or an easy fix to the old one, but oh well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Um, it was a pretty different kind of video, I know. Um, but hopefully you guys liked it. I put a lot of work into it. And yes, if you were wondering, all those people at the table were actually me. Um, I had to record each part separately. Um, and also a huge shout out to Rec Room um, for making this awesome game where I can actually make stuff like this. Like this, this camera is actually really cool. Like I can just like put it wherever I want and it just stays there and I can I can change the FOV, I can do all kinds of stuff. So now we got like cinematic shots right here. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time.